think for a minute about this avalanche of things, this internet of things which is coming. You can see little bits and pieces of it have been around for a while, like you know, internet-enabled picture frames. But when you start designing your house around uh, the notion of devices that have programs in them that communicate with each other and somehow use the internet in order to interact with you remotely from your mobile, uh, if you don't want your house to stop working just because the internet isn't accessible, that would not be a good design. So I worry about the people who are inventing these various devices and have this assumption that the internet will be there so they don't have to worry about that part. And, and can you imagine going into your house with your mobile and about 100 different apps, because somebody was so stupid as to make each light bulb a different app, and you're trying to figure out how to turn the lights off and on, but the mobile isn't working because the battery is dead or the, you don't have a good signal or the Wi-Fi is down. Uh, this is not, it's not sane. And so we really have to think hard about building robust systems that take advantage of the power of the network and the power of, of uh, program devices, but at the same time protect us uh, from the downside, which is when stuff doesn't work right.